business or you want to let everybody know that you exist and your product is great. How do you do that? Well, the simple answer is marketing. Welcome to our Digital Economy Hub. I'm Nat Pacheco, Marketing Manager at William Buck Queensland, and today we're going to cover some marketing basics. So what's the first step? The first thing you need to do is to develop a marketing mindset. Surely you must have created your mission and vision by now. Pick up those concepts and from them develop your value proposition. Your value proposition is those important reasons that your consumer is going to come to you and not to your competitor. So for example, if your mission is to be the go-to shop for dog tags, for example, you need to develop a value proposition that highlights the reasons that you're the best shop to buy dog tags. Consider, for example, why your dog tags are better than the others. Is it the customization possibilities? Is it the designs or is it the quality? So after you figure it out why your product is the best option, you need to start gathering some fundamental information about your business. Who are your ideal target or your target audience? In this step, it's really important that you really segment your audience and find that one person that is the perfect consumer for your business. So start from the demographics and all of the information like age, gender, income level, and so on. After that, think about what they do in their lives. Are they part of any groups? Do they use device to shop or not? Um, what are their hobbies? Are, what are their, their likes and dislikes? The more questions you ask, the more you will refine your so-called buying persona, that sweet spot to sell to. And when you know exactly what who you want to sell to, you can develop a much better strategy. All right, now that you know your value proposition and your target, target audience, it's time to find the best places to reach those people. So marketing channels is how you distribute your message to your target audience. And your goal as a small business or someone that's starting out is to figure it out which one of those channels will belong in your list and which ones you simply cannot accommodate. Let's face it, there's an infinite amount of different channels that you can choose from. Between email, print, online, social media, just to name a handful, you can be overwhelmed with the options. So start by asking a few questions. What do you want your marketing to achieve and where does your target audience go to to find information? So let's go back to the example of the dog tags. If your target audience consists of dog owners, between 20 to 45 years old, and they are passionate about dogs, they will most likely love to share um, photos and videos of their four-legged kids into social media. So you might consider channels like Facebook, Instagram. However, if you are a consultant provider and your target audience is young professionals that are passionate about their career advancement, you might want to invest in a channel like LinkedIn or email marketing. The goal here is to choose the right channel that will reach your audience more efficiently. Every person has a different way to engage with messages and make decisions. That is why it's so important to understand why your product is going to make a difference in your target audience's life. Your goal here now is to make sure you tailor your message to your audience and the channel that they are consuming that message. Let's go back to the dog tag example. You might want to invest in some cute videos and photos to put on Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest of cute dogs or puppies wearing your dog tags. So people want to share your content in their social networks. In this case here, you can also think about influencer marketing. You can try to find those accounts that have a big reach and send them your product to be reviewed. That way your reach is going to be expanded. On the other hand, if you are a consultant and you want to spread out your message about your professional services, you might want to consider developing some articles or podcasts to position you as expert in your field. So this was just a quick basic guide and there's lots more to discuss regarding marketing for your business. But if I could boil it down into the simplest summary, I would say define your purpose, then your audience, go where the fish are and craft a message that will resonate with them. This sounds easy, but it takes work. 
In fact, I will emphasize the need to keep learning and improving. Make sure you measure all your efforts and optimize. When it works, it really works. And when it really, really works, you can build a brand that is really hard to compete. Thank you so much for watching this video today and feel free to check the Digital Hub for way more resources.